What's up everybody, how you doing? Ryan Afton here today with Tommy, Andy. We also got TJ and Jonathan down there and they're gonna help out in this bid too. Tommy's gotta go to work so we're starting with him. Thinking about tripods today. Most days I don't actually do them. Yesterday we were shredding with Andy. Andy does them good. We were, uh, I was finally doing a bunch again. Tommy just saw him do some real ripping ones there. So give us some tips for tripods. So obviously I got this inspiration from Ryan cause he's such, so good at carving and I want to throw my own flair into it. So as you're doing a toe side carve, think about sinking your belly button down, getting nice and close to the ground. And then you can tip over and put your back hand on the ground. Right when you're feeling pretty comfortable and you're locked into that carve, take your lead hand, put on the ground, and then you want to start shifting all your weight and getting your back foot to go in the air so you can get in that tripod, hold that for a little bit and then give yourself a nice little pop out and then ride away like a bounce. And I like how you ride out of it too, with some still speed rather than coming to a complete stop or anything, but your other, I like all your tips there. Getting that belly button down towards the ground, not crashing down by being standing too tall and you know, cartwheeling. It's just gentle motions, of getting low to start it. And you can actually practice this like on the ground right here. You can start by, is that okay if I start? Yep. So you can start by just leaning down here, take your back hand and then you start shifting your weight now I can practice, I can practice this whole entire trick without the crazy consequences. Let's do it on the ground. You make it super simple. How easy did he just make that breakdown look? Thank yeah. you, Tommy. Let's go. Let's go. Rock and roll, Tommy. Woo! Yeah, let's get it. Andy, you got any tips for them? Yeah, I like to just do them coming in off of a toe side turn because that's easier to get rotated around and make sure you get the board pointed straight up the hill, you know, in line with the fall line, then just reach down and you're there. Let's see another. Nothing too hard about that, right? DJ, any tips for playing around with tripods? Oh man, yeah, I think uh, one of the things I always do that I feel helps me balance out the tripod is really look between your arms. So of course, you know, you gotta scope and make sure that you're good and you're clear to do the trick. But once you're in the tripod, you look between your arms, you can keep your balance better and see the landing when you pop out. Let's get a nice long one shot. Let's try it. Showing that. Let's do this. Got any tips, Jonathan? My tips for a tripod is before you even try it while you're moving, do it when you strap in and then just pop into a tripod and see how it feels. Feel that pressure of how you're gonna be holding your upper body up while sliding and to kind of feel how your board's flexing while you're in that tripod. That would be my tip. Would you demonstrate? So ideally you wanna be on a very flat surface, but then you would just strap in and then go. Can it look easy? Once again, just being stationary and trying to balance there. Let's get one more and then you're heading to the park. Let's do this. Thank you, Jonathan.
thank you for taping. Anytime. A big thanks to Tommy, TJ, Jonathan, and Andy for sharing their tips on those. Uh, my last final words on it are, you know, take it pretty mellow with it. Like some of them said, just learn that body position on a completely flat hill at the base of the run or something, just so you know that position. Don't and be gentle with your hands, wrist, elbows, arms, shoulders on that. You don't want to be crashing down, so really use your knees to get low to begin with it. But yeah, mostly. Just like a lot of snowboarding things, it's about just trying it yourself, playing around with it, fiddling around with it. Complexity level, it's not actually even that hard, but it's a flashy one. I remember the first one I ever saw, Jeff Meyer did one. I was like, whoa, how did you do that? And uh, so it's a cool one. Something worth messing around with if you have not tried them yet. So uh, a big thanks to you all for watching. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for, uh, oh, updates. I just spent three days making stickers. I got tons of them now, so they're in stock links to those in the description along with the rest of those uh, Tommy's, TJ's, and Jonathan's YouTube channel. So go give them a follow too. And yes, thank you again. Enjoy the awful views out here. Love y'all. Happy shredding and kapla!